Hello guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make, um, how I fry my Thompson. So I bought these two from the Congolese shop, they were £5, they're massive. Um, so I'm just going to clean it, show you guys how I clean it, how I fry it, it's super easy and it's super delicious and um, stay tuned. So uh, excuse me for using my hands, I ran out of, um, what do you call it? gloves so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean it i don't know if you've seen oh this is massive i don't know how i'm gonna do this so let's start with the smaller one so always remove the fins i'm just gonna go quickly with it i've got a recipe i've got a video actually on how i do it so do check the description box below and if you're hearing the noise my washing machine is actually owned so excuse that <music> like a plastic bag here just to put the the fish guts so you have to open it up like this And then just get it from the top and go ahead and just pour the rest. The rest, the rest should be able to come off. Like I said, you can wear gloves when you're doing this. I ran out of gloves, so I'm just using my hands. So, uh, hey, not fun, but it has to be done, right? I want to eat some fish, so gotta do it. So make sure the remaining of the guts is out of the fish. So this is why I've got to just get rid of some water. So some water, just making sure it is all nice and clean inside. So what you have to do as well is remove this lining, just like so. And what I basically do, I just go all the way, but when you get into the top, don't be too hard on it because it's not a lot otherwise you remove the skin as well so you basically you know descaling it i guess that's what we'll call it so that is smooth so when you eat your fish is nice and if you run your finger through it it should be nice and smooth so you turn it around you do exactly the same thing on the other side and just run some cold water and just clean it all up so I'm just gonna cut it into three pieces Now guys, onto the seasoning. So all I'm seasoning with sea salt. Season it according to your taste. Maggie cubes goes well with it. Or you can add all purpose seasoning. It's literally up to you. Make sure it's right in into it. You can score it as well, but trust me, you don't need to. Like once you start to fry it, like the, the flavor will just go in. It doesn't need much seasoning. Especially that when we were making it in Congo, we'll just season it with salt, just salt. It's fine. Mm. 
just a bit of salt that is it you don't need too much you don't need to over season it you don't need to add garlic you don't need to add you know you don't need to add nutmeg just salt guys trust me this is type this is the type of fish that um it just hugs it complements salt so well that you don't need a lot of the ingredients guys trust me trust me i am talking from experience if you look back on my videos the way i used to season it things and uh recently i don't season my stuff as much like that anymore i don't add too much things and it still tastes good you know you don't have to be adding too much thing if you're adding one all pepper seasoning you don't need to add maggie cubes you know and and jumbo you don't need to do that yeah guys i'm gonna leave this to do its thing the only thing is about seasoning with salt is that you don't really know where the the ingredient has gone so you just have to make sure that you rub it in you rub it in because as it's clear you can't really see if it's actually gone through but you just rub it in make sure it's all good so i'm going to leave this to marinate for 30 minutes and i'm going to show you the next step add some oil into the pan a reasonable amount of oil to fry the fish according to your preference so i'm just going to wait for that to get hot make sure the oil is hot enough before adding in the fish You basically need to switch your position so that so that it's all cooked well on every side like you see here. You have to like put in auto position so that it all fries properly on the inside as well. Let's do this part here. Voila, c'est prêt à manger. I'm eating it with rice, bondo, pili pili, rice, bondo, piment. 